Ever wonder how to close nearly a deal a day in real estate investing? Click the challenge button throughout this video and subscribe to my free 30-day video series, How I Close Thousands of Deals. Hey there, this is Peter of Excelman. So actually today, I'm inside our new office building. We're officially moving in tomorrow, but I want you to take a quick peek around here of kind of what's going on here. And um, so obviously, uh, part of the office is not quite 100% done, but let's just kind of follow me out here because 97% of the office is, is done. And this is a building, you know, I'm literally moving into a building probably about three to four times bigger than my old office building. I mean, this has got bullpens behind those walls. It's got offices all over the place. I mean, it's got multiple server rooms. Um, it, it's, it's, it's got a training center. I mean, you name it, we got it. It's a huge building. Now, let me tell you something else. I've been doing this business for about, um, for about 15 years, I've got 3,000 plus deals behind me. You know, we're doing deals literally on, on a weekly basis. We got a, uh, an investment division. We now have a, a regular real estate arm division with, 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 with realtors. Uh, overall, I have a tremendous amount of confidence in, in, in what I've been doing. But having said that, I could tell you it's still a little bit scary. I mean, this is, this is a huge operation that I've just made a, a, a very, very long-term commitment to. And it is a little scary. You know, you can't, you can't do something like this, no matter how confident you are in what you're doing, and not kind of have a couple uh, hiccups along the way or a couple, you know, look backs along the way, make sure you're doing the right thing. And, and that's what I want to talk to you about, because I know a number of you that are listening to or watching this video, you're in the same position. And you know what? You may not have a ton of history behind you. You may not have a ton of successes. You may not have a proven track record. You may not have uh, a good amount of money in the bank. And, and the bottom line is it's, it's scary. It's scary for you to go to that next step, whatever that next step is. See, you may be faced with a decision right now, do I bring that first employee on or not? You know, that's, that could be an extra $500, $1,000 a week uh, payroll check. You may be faced with a decision kind of like this. Do I go into a larger office or, or stay in the office I'm in? You may be looking at potentially going into your first office. Um, you may be faced a decision that you realize that for you to get to that next level, whatever that level is, whether it's step one or step a thousand, but you may be faced with that decision that in order to get to the next step, you gotta do something that's a little bit scary, something that's a little bit uncomfortable. So here's my personal viewpoint about it. See, ultimately, ultimately, you kind of got to go with your gut. No matter how long you've been doing something, you got to feel that it's the right thing to do. You know, if you're one of those people that you need to have a million things lined up, all the stars line up, everything has got to be perfect for you to make some kind of a big decision, this is probably not a business for you. Being a business owner or an entrepreneur is probably not even the right industry. But if deep down inside you're kind of where I was as I made a decision on this huge operation to move it to that next level where I just felt I just felt it in my gut that this is the time this is the hour these are the people that we put together this is the opportunity we've been looking for now it's time to move forward so if that's where you are right now and something deep inside of you says you got to go for it uh, my suggestion is you go for it see ultimately look you only go one around once right so what happens? What if disaster hits and you make a mistake? So what? In the end, you might lose some time, you might lose some money, you may lose some resources, but in the end, in order to really, really get to where you want to be, in order for me to really get to where I want to be, I, along with you, you got to take that next step. You got to take the jump, you got to make the move, you kind of go, got to go with your gut, and you got to make that decision to move forward. So think about it, where's that next step for you? I challenge you to go to it. Hey, you guys know what we do here. We do a ton of deals and, and I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I coach people just like you to help become very, very successful real estate investors. So if you're a buyer or you know other buyers literally all over the world that are looking for deals in the Georgia market, specifically concentrated towards Atlanta, you need to be on our buyers list. By now, you'll see my email scrolling across the screen. Send me an email. Just say, add me to the buyer's list. And on a daily basis, you're going to get some terrific both ROI and equity-driven deals 
uh, emailed right directly to you through email. The other thing, if you're looking to become a successful investor, whether you're brand new, just getting started, or whether you're doing it already and you're looking to be a, a bigger, more sophisticated, more savvy investor, I know I could help you do that. Send me an email to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, or better yet, right below this video, there's a link right directly to coachingbypeter.com. You can go straight there and learn more about how I could help you become very successful in this industry.